Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're exploring The Diet-Free Revolution by Alexis Connison today, a dynamic book that's shifting our food, nutrition, and body perspectives. This isn't just another diet, it's a radical rethink of our food relationship. It acknowledges our bodies as allies, not adversaries, on our wellness journey. It promotes body compassion, rather than defining our worth by a scale. Connison, a clinical psychologist specializing in eating disorders, urges us to forsake diet culture and adopt a holistic, compassionate approach. This book urges us to nurture self-love and healing instead of resorting to denial and self-punishment. Connison's revolutionary tome redefines not just our diet but our entire perspective of health, encouraging us to embrace self-love, healing and foster compassion for our bodies. This isn't just a weight loss book, it's a guide to self-love, healing, and body compassion. This book is not just about weight loss, it's about self-love, healing, and cultivating compassion for our bodies. One of the key messages in this book is that diets don't work, and it's not your fault. So says Alexis Connison in The Diet-Free Revolution, a bold exploration of the fallacies surrounding weight loss and dieting. A key idea she disputes is the widespread misconception that weight loss automatically signifies health. Connison strongly asserts that health is more than a number on a scale. Instead, it is a multifaceted concept that includes physical fitness and mental well-being. She also sheds light on the belief that willpower solely determines weight. Connison underscores that weight is influenced by numerous factors, many of which are outside our capabilities to control. These include genetic makeup and the environment we live in. This, she suggests, is why for weight issues is misguided and unhelpful. Furthermore, Connison dismisses the idea that deprivation leads to sustainable weight loss. She presents evidence that restrictive diets often initiate a vicious cycle of yo-yo dieting, detrimental to both physical and mental health. This is an important point that challenges the prevailing narrative around dieting and self-discipline. We're often told that if we just lose the weight, try a little harder, or deprive ourselves for a little bit longer, we'll be happier, healthier, and more confident. But that's not true. With the diet-free revolution, Connison aims to shift this narrative, advocating for a holistic, compassionate approach to health and well-being. Connison offers a 10-step program that helps us radically shift our relationship to food and our bodies. This deviates from your standard diet plan, presenting instead a meaningful exploration of our routines, convictions, and emotional responses towards food and body image. The initial part of the program is about challenging prevalent misconceptions about weight and health. We've been conditioned to equate thinness to health and obesity to unhealthiness. Connison provocatively invites us to reconsider this simplistic narrative. She posits that health is not so black and white but rather, it is a nuanced interplay of physical, mental, and emotional aspects. The second stage of the program delves into the concept of emotional eating. Food, Connison tells us, is more than fuel for our bodies. It's closely tied to our emotions, celebrations, and sometimes even our grief. Recognizing the connection we have to food is a critical part of the program. Gaining insight into our emotional relationship with food allows us to begin the process of acceptance and understanding. The third stage advocates for mindful eating, a term Connison has affectionately dubbed, finding your yum. This practice involves truly appreciating the experience of eating, savoring each mouthful and finding genuine pleasure in our food. It's a chance to break free from guilt and shame tied to eating and to cultivate a positive, healthy relationship with food. The fourth step is about learning to trust our bodies, a radical idea for some who have been ignoring their body's cues in the pursuit of dieting or overeating. The human body is more intelligent than we give it credit for. It can tell when we're hungry, when we're full, when we need rest, and when we need nourishment. By paying attention to these signals, we can develop a trust in our bodies to guide us to what they need. These initial four steps establish the foundation for a more empathetic, intuitive, and mindful way of eating and caring for oneself. The remaining six steps delve further into promoting body acceptance, self-love, and healing. This isn't a sprint to a transformed self, it's a marathon. A journey of unlearning harmful beliefs and relearning how to respect and care for our bodies. Imagine letting go of the control and embracing trust in our bodies, in our intuition, and in the wisdom of our yum. For anyone caught in a cycle of dieting, wrestling with body image issues, or simply searching for a more caring approach to health and nutrition, this 10-step program offers a refreshing new viewpoint. It's about stepping away from the scales, the calorie counting, and the good food versus bad food mentality. 
It's an invitation to practice self-compassion, body acceptance, and mindful eating. It's about partnering with, not battling against our bodies. Above all, it's about discovering happiness, satisfaction, and tranquility in our relationship with food and our bodies. The fourth step teaches us to trust our body to be our guide and find real fullness. This is what the diet-free revolution is all about. Not weight loss, but wellness. Not deprivation, but enjoyment. Not dieting, but living. One of the most powerful aspects of this book is how it reframes dieting and diet failure. The narrative as we've known it has been simple. Lack of discipline leads to diet failure. However, Connison takes a radical departure from this belief. She calls into question the conventional wisdom that has been fostered by the diet industry. According to her, this industry has designed a system, a self-perpetuating cycle of losing and regaining weight, which keeps us locked in a never-ending pursuit of an elusive ideal. But what if the failure isn't ours but the system's? Connison argues that our inability to stick to a diet regime isn't an individual failing but rather a fallout of the vicious cycle created by an industry that feeds off our insecurities. She encourages us to stop blaming ourselves for the so-called failures and instead question the viability of these diets. She wants us to ask, can I sustain this diet? Is it nourishing my body adequately? Is it making me happy? If our answers lean towards no, then she believes it isn't us who have failed, but the diet. She challenges us to view these instances not as personal shortfalls, as a byproduct of an exploitative culture. Instead of seeing these as individual failures, Connison presents them as pervasive aspects of our culture. The diet-free revolution offers a roadmap to healing, self-acceptance, and radical new ways of relating to and loving our bodies. In this video, we've delved into Alexis Connison's pioneering busting the dangerous myth that diets equate to happiness and health. Instead, we found that diets often perpetuate a vicious cycle of deprivation, overeating, and remorse. Connison's 10-step program is a transformative journey. It starts with questioning prevalent assumptions about weight and health, takes us through understanding our emotions, encourages mindful eating, and teaches body trust. This enriching program includes case studies, practical meditations, and engaging activities. Additionally, we've highlighted the importance of contesting diet culture. We've learned to see diet failure not as a personal flaw, but as an indication of a society that pushes detrimental body ideals. The diet-free revolution is more than a book. It's a paradigm shift in thinking and lifestyle. It invites us to abandon the damaging diet culture and adopt a kinder, more understanding approach to food, nutrition, and our bodies. You're worn out from constant dieting, unsustainable meal plans, and quick fixes that result in pain and negative health outcomes, consider the diet-free revolution. It could be the lifeline you've been seeking. That's all for today's video. Before we wrap up, we have a small request. If this video sparked a thought, kindly hit like and share it. Your support fuels our content against the status quo. If the diet-free revolution intrigued you, consider subscribing for more insightful content. Thank you for your support. Until next time, keep reading, stay healthy, and remember, it's not about the weight you lose, it's about the life you gain.